<laughs> yes. <laughs> Hey, 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 everybody. It is Peter and Sal here from Strong Healthy Women and welcome to Talking Wellbeing TV, where we share hints, tips and advice about the foundations of wellbeing. And Sal's just discovered what she wants for Christmas. Tell us what you want for Christmas, Sal. I'm going to get a ring light so people can see me. <laughs> <laughs> Sal's got lights coming from three different angles in her room and it still always looks dark so <laughs> so ring light yes and I've just had a child from an, um, another room yell out what is it what do you want <laughs> <laughs> so they're on it you know a lamp would probably work just well though so anyway so today's topic I'm pretty excited about today's topic because it is all about the online workout because when COVID hit, we, you know, all the gyms shut down and, you know, for many of us, we just lost that ability to be able to work out. But there were quite a, a lot of fitness instructors who just got to it and opened up and started the online process. And we were lucky enough to be trialling online for the past 12 months before that. So we had quite a, a lot of insight into how we might run it. And, and so it was quite a, a simple switch over for us. Um, but in, in saying that, I know that online workouts isn't for everybody. And what we've, we've ascertained is that the, the women in particular who are in our demographics, you know, that, that 40 upwards woman, they're the women who are you know, just, they've got things to do, places to be, people to see, all of those types of things. So they want something that they can get in, get it done and get out of there. And so what we've noticed about the women who are still working out with us is they are those women. So they're saving time because they're not driving somewhere, driving home again um, and not trying to fit it into their schedule because it's just slotting in so well. So do you want to talk to a cell about some of the benefits that you have seen through um, working with our ladies online? This Probably the one thing that I've noticed the most is um, the improvements. Now, not saying oh. that they weren't, um, you know, doing so well prior to that and doing so well in person, but there's none of the distractions. No. So their whole focus is oh. on themselves and mm. getting stronger yeah. and getting deeper in their squats, deeper in their push-ups, and they're just a lot more focused mm. on what 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 mm. they're getting done and I think what's helping too is that um, as you may or may not know we have a portal that is called the hub so our ladies are getting mm -hmm. a heads up every Friday on what the workout is going to be the following week yeah and so I think that the other bonus is that they're coming into those workouts knowing what is going to be happening this week yeah look you hit the the nail on the head with that distraction i was i always say that distractions are are like kryptonite um when we have those distractions we're not working as hard as as we can do and that's not to say that it's not lovely being around other people but when you're doing your workout it is for you it is only about you so when you're in an environment when there's uh, where there's only you, that's all you can do. Though that distraction has been removed, and oh my goodness, like I totally agree. Like the workout that we did this morning, there is no way on earth that I could have actually managed to get that workout out in in a face to face environment because. Yes one person would have said something and then it would have had that snowball effect, snowball effect. Yes. and yeah and so you would have got that that um you know oh i'm not doing that and i'm not doing that and once one person starts that the next person uh, rolls on with it and so that is not happening and oh my gosh i just cannot praise these women 
enough for how far they have come since March this year. It is just absolutely blowing my mind. It's it unbelievable. And the thing mm. too, I just want to go back to distractions too. Distractions, you know, are not only just what's coming out of people's mouths. It can be the energy in the room, you know. So if you see oh, somebody yes. roll their eyes or there's a big sigh or a shake of the head, that can have an effect <laughs> on the person next to you as well. Whereas mm -hmm. working out online you know, you if you've got your energy high, ready for this workout, it's staying high, ready for this workout because no one is having that um, non-verbal effect on it. Mm, mm. Yeah, the other thing that I was just thinking about as I'm sitting here underneath my fan is you can actually control the the temperature, the environment that you're in as well too. Um, yes. because I know that we have a lot of ladies who heat up quite quickly and that's through winter as well. So they want the fans on and yet then there are ladies who don't want the fans on and so you've got this little tug of war happening about what's going to work best for, you know, everybody. And so this way you have control over it. So that's another awesome factor I think as well. Mm. Yes, I agree wholeheartedly um and going back to yeah. the time as well when you were talking about driving there and driving home let's not yeah. forget that little bit of time that we all stand around and have a chitty chat or then we may go down for coffee and we'll <laughs> coffee yeah. is a wonderful thing um that all comes down mm. to time as well and if you're busy with things to do you know, sometimes you just don't yeah. have the time to have a chit chat with somebody for 20 minutes in a car park. You know, you just want to get your workout oh. done. If you have got things to do and you've got to keep moving. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I know for me personally, if I duck down to, you know, down to the shops and the girls were there having a coffee afterwards, you know, I'd stop and sit down for a minute. And before I know it, it was lunchtime. And, like, I haven't even had breakfast. I haven't even got home because, you know, I'm doing those early morning sessions. So, uh, yeah, so it, it's lunch and dinner rolled into one type of thing. So, yeah, it, it definitely is a big time saver. Um, and when you say that you can't get motivated online, uh, I mean, there is no difference to motivation online or offline the, the reality of it is motivation is one of those things that I, I call the magical mystical unicorn because quite seriously it's up one day and it's down the next and as we continue to say it is consistency and it is persistence um, and taking that action that keeps that motivation high when you can see how much stronger you are when you can see that you're doing four push-ups as opposed to push-ups on your hands and knees um, and you've achieved that in a few months then you know that you are getting stronger and and that really makes you feel so good inside and I, it, I think it comes down to um, that personal satisfaction as well about how you feel. Yes, yes. And knowing that you have developed this discipline, you oh, have yes. developed this discipline to be coming in and getting your online workouts done three times a week or four times a week or whatever it is you are doing with our ladies, you mm. know, they can't come in on a Monday. Um, nine times out of ten, they're checking in on a Tuesday, got my workout done today, um, you know, because they still have that video, that work-along video, um, but this, they've got that discipline that has, has come into it, which, you know, you could then say that that's, they've created that habit. Oh, they, they totally have. It's, and mm. everything in, in, you know, 50% of our day, well, almost 50% of our day is habit. So they have created that habit. And, you know, and there are those ladies who don't get into the virtual studio with us. There are those ladies who take the follow-along videos. 
and they actually just follow that video along and they do it at home. So, you know, and then what happens is that they're fitting it into their schedule. So they're looking at their plan and they're going, okay, I need to do this, 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 you know, I'm going to take my kids to school, then I've got an appointment here, so this is where I'm going to do my workout. That gives me enough time to have a shower. So they're fitting it in. The other good thing about it is that if they don't have the full time to get the workout itself done, because the follow along video is only five minutes, they can go for five minutes and they're still getting a decent workout in. They're still getting um, it, right? and, which is wonderful, yeah, and building their strength. Yeah, yeah. So, um, and and you know they've developed that discipline of doing as well. You know, taking the action. You know, they've also developed the that um, habit of checking in as well. So mm-hmm. you know, we have our check in posts. So, you know, we say, okay, we know everybody who's working out at home. And so it's like, okay, check in, tell us what you've done. So each, so on a Monday, um, when we're going to do, for example, a rep workout, then what we'll do the evening before is we're going to post up and it's like, here's your challenge today. So if you don't get into the virtual studio, this is what we want you to do. And so we're continually mixing up those challenges. So although the workout is the same, so it's the same exercises, we might throw them into a different sequence or we could throw them into a different way of doing things. So it might be timed, it could be a ladder, it could be rep-based, um, it, it could be an amp ramp, you know, you wouldn't know what it is going to be and that's why we put that challenge up uh, the night before so that they can look at it and go, oh, I don't know, but I will accept the challenge and I will have a go at it. I love, like, Margaret's response, you know. She said, um, uh, my trainers are saddest. <laughs> I think I'm going to die, but I feel great. <laughs> I love her attitude. <laughs> and Friday she's going to refer to them as, the flaming ladder of something or other it was, and I thought that's yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah. We get to th- Sorry, I was just going to say too, you know, with our clients who have the aches and pains and niggles, they're not yeah. sort of you know left out of the mix either because we make sure everyone no. is taken care of. So they know that they mm. don't have to worry about uh, or that they have to stop their online workouts or working out in a virtual studio mm-hmm. because they don't have any of the alternates because we always have an alternate. That's one of our big beliefs is that there's always an alternate to every single exercise. So that's yes. a bonus. Yeah. Because yes. when they've got their aches and pains, they're still coming in and doing their workout. Yeah. So you mentioned the hub earlier. So the hub is this central a database so it's like um you know our members website and so they get access to that and so they have their workouts in there their follow along workouts but we also give them the how to videos so that explains exactly how to do the video how to do that particular exercise but what it also does is it gives them the alternates because we know that, you know, if we're doing push-ups and who's got shoulder issues and what they're going to be capable of. So, you know, we are continually thinking about those things. Um, and then the other thing this morning is I did a really fast-paced time and then I did a longer time. So there was this really quick transition from one exercise to the next. And so it was at that point that I went, if you cannot get to the ground in five seconds in that that transition time, then here's the exercises that you'll do in place of those. So it, it is always continually evolving and adapting to the workout itself and what the women are capable of doing. And sometimes they don't think they're capable, but we know they are we know what they can do. We've got that belief in them. So, 
Um, and afterwards, you know, we'll get, that's a tough workout. That was so tough, you know, and we'll see the comments coming through. But then I will ask the question, so how are you feeling now? You know, so literally 15 minutes later, how are you feeling now? I'm feeling energized. I'm feeling ready to start the day. I'm feeling strong. I'm feeling this, you know, so what happens is that initial reaction of, wow, that was tough and I was pushed today, um, very quickly um, disappears out of our mind. A little bit like childbirth, you know, we go back for that second and third time. Um, we, we go, we're never going to do that again after we've given birth to one child, but we always go back and do it again. So yeah. we do forget about, we do forget about how tough it happens happens to me so yeah yeah <laughs> yeah and the thing too is um we know what our clients can do we know mm. their abilities so we are going to push them a little bit harder you know age has no bearing on fitness whatsoever no. anyone whether you're 15 or whether you're 90 can do a squat um no. You know, so we know our clients' abilities, we know our ladies' abilities, and we know when they can be pushed. And we will push them because it's about staying strong and mobile and flexible and moving and not sitting and not and and keeping those aches and pains at bay and yeah, not just not discovering new aches and pains, which I think we would just we discover when we're sitting a little bit. <laughs> We do, definitely. Like yeah. I know for me if I'm sitting at the desk, I, I feel myself doing this. Yes. Um, and so I'm now in, yeah, starting to lean forward. And, you know, you'll notice that when you're out walking as well too, you'll start to, you'll have this little bend forward in the hips and we'll see that in lunges as well too, won't we, Sal? Yes. So, you know, see them starting to come forward as opposed to keeping their body upright over the top of their hips over the and keeping that, that centre line in their body, which gives them so much more balance as well too. So, oh, yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah. Mm. Um, I think too sometimes we... When we can't, when we're doing online workouts, or if if that's something that we are thinking about doing, I, there's that fear too that can creep in. You know, um, what if yeah. I don't know what I'm doing? What if I can't follow along? What if I don't know how to use Zoom to get into a virtual class? Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that can sort of hold you back from, you know, if you've had that thought in your head that, you know, I want to do this, I want to do an online, you know, uh, fitness class, but it, I'm holding myself back because what if I look silly or what if I don't know what I'm doing? Mm. I a... Yeah. I, I, I think, Sal, that fear would be there regardless of whether it's online or whether it's, you know, in person as well too. You know, I know for myself personally, you know, the very first time I walk through the door of a gym, it's like, whoo, you know, you got butterflies in your tummy, you know, but you do take that step forward because if it's important to you, which we know our health, and our well-being and our fitness is important to us because we know when we get to this age, we are starting to notice all those aches and pains in our body. So we yes. know that if we do nothing, if we do nothing about it, then they're only going to get worse. So we have to do something now so that, you know, when we get to that 60, 70, 80, 90 year old mark, that we're one of those remarkable women that we see you know, in magazines and we see in the newspapers and we see online who, you know, women starting to teach yoga at 70 and 80. So, you know, it is never too late. And it does come down to attitude, you know. Do you believe that you can actually do something? The answer is yes. we can all do something. Yes. It's a matter of going 
okay, I'm just going to give it a go. Because you know what? Giving it a go is better than not giving it a go at all. And if you find that you don't like it, well, that's okay. At least you've tried it. You know, you, you take yourself back to being a child and your mum would say to you, here, try the broccoli. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but you know you, you, pers you persevered with it because mum said it was good for you so you kept on eating it anyway and now you love your broccoli yes yes and so it does come down to that take it back to consistency your and mind. yeah take it mm. back to your curious mind i'll try anything i'll try everything i want to try anything i want to try everything yeah. So, yeah, give it a go. Yeah, it, it is, yeah. And so there are, are two ways. There are really two ways of working out online. There's one where you work out in what we call a virtual studio, which is just like we're seeing here now. So your trainer is standing in front of you like I am and I'm doing the workout and you're just following me along. Um, and I'm checking on you to make sure that you're doing everything right, um, that you um, have the right range of motion, that you're, you're not being compromised in any way. And then there's the workout where you just, you know, flick on your phone or your computer and you just follow it along. So there are those two different ways. And you'll work out what is going to work for you. So we know that in the virtual studio that we get fantastic results. We, we can see that. We know that the women who work out and are disciplined to do it at home, that they're getting uh, those results as well too. But I know for, if I think about Sue, Sue was working out online at home and she was very disciplined she'd do it monday wednesday friday she'd check in but when the virtual studio opened up she switched over and she started coming online and she goes i know that i wasn't working out as hard on my own as what i do when i come in and i've got that accountability so yes. we know that if you can come in and do it online that you are going to get a better workout that you are going to get great results from it as well too yes. So any words of advice, if you're thinking about, hmm, I don't think this online stuff is for me, what would you say? Just give it a go. You know, as, I, as we've been talking about this afternoon, the results we've seen in our ladies is incredible. And remember, four weeks of, of strength training or any workout that you do is going to increase your strength by between 20 and 30%. And that doesn't matter yeah. what you're doing. Um, and you've got to ask yourself a question. Are you happy sitting in sitting on the lounge watching everything go by or are you ready to come into the virtual studio, come in and do mm -hmm. uh, online workouts? Because they're amazing and they're fun. Yeah. We have fun. You can cook dinner while you're getting ready for your workout in between your sets. <laughs> We have a flu. Like yep, if you're working that. that. <laughs> I'm one of those. <laughs> you're one of those, Lanny. You and Lanny running in and out for dinner. Yeah. We do. <laughs> yes. We got the thing going on. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely do. So, you know, I, I think the main thing here is. If you're hesitant, if you're waiting for motivation to kick in, it won't matter whether it's face-to-face -face or whether it's online. Motivation isn't going to kick in. It is a matter of taking that action and just doing something. And something is better than nothing. Um, the I love the flexibility of online. Because the wonderful thing is it doesn't matter where you are, you can still keep doing your workouts. So, you know, I think of Julie, I think of Moira, um, there have been so many ladies who, you know, have 
you know, got on the train and headed up north or they've gone out caravanning. Um, so, but they're still checking in, they're still doing their workouts online because they've developed that routine and they know it's important to them. And then they just get on with their day and I'm sure that what happens is they go out and have their lovely glass of wine with their lunch afterwards. But, you know, they at least know that they've done that workout before they've gone out and had that little splurge as well too. So I think that's lovely. Can I also just add to that too, like, you know, if, if they're with our ladies travelling, the other thing too on the flip side of, of it is that your trainers are always there. We never cancel a class because we're always available to do our sessions. You know, if there's internet issues or... Or if someone's mm. sick, class doesn't have to be cancelled. You know, an example is when we were working at the hall and if um, I had a flat tyre mm. one day, so the class be cancelled. Yeah. yeah, I've been sick. Mm. You know, just down the coast, Peter's out on the farm. So that's really hard. But with three trainers, um, you know, there's never any issue with it not going, not going to be online. There's always a virtual studio being run. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I mean, so what happens is if my internet connection isn't working, then yours is probably working mm -hmm. or Sue's is probably working and it is only just a, a text message away type of thing and someone jumps in and does it. As opposed to just recently um, at, you know, the other uh, job that you do, you know, you got a phone call at 4.30 in the morning. 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> because... <laughs> Yeah, come and do a Pilates session and you've gone, I'm not a Pilates instructor. And I've gone, yeah, yeah, remember all the Pil all the Pilates moves that we did in our Piloxing certification? You've gone, oh, yeah, okay, that's right. And yep. wasn't it wonderful? Yeah, because um, that your um, students have said to you afterwards, what they tell you? They told me that was the hardest one they'd ever done and... I didn't yeah, there you go. I was on one foot. <laughs> <laughs> love it. Absolutely yeah. love it. Yeah. yeah, I love it. Yeah, exactly. All right, Sal, thanks for joining me today. Thank you, ladies, for yeah. tuning in. Yeah. I hope you got some interesting information about working out online. Um, you know, if you would love to come and uh, give a go and, you know, trial a little session with us, just message Sal or I and we'll organise it for you. So we'd love to have you on board. All right. So take care, everybody. See you all soon. Bye, Peter. Bye, Bye everybody. Sal. Bye.